fiery horse with a speed of light, a cloud of dust, and a haughty high old silver, the Lone Ranger. Faithful Indian companion Toto, the daring and resourceful masked rider of the plains, led the fight for law and order in the early western United States. Nowhere in the pages of history can one find a greater champion of justice. Return with us now to those thrilling days of yesteryear. From out of the past come the thundering hoofbeats of the great horse Silver. The Lone Ranger rides again. Come Silver. Let's go, big fellow. I'll still Bobby is a boy of nine. He can really hit that line. He's a star because he knows he's got go power from Cheerios. Yes, he's got go power. There he goes. <laughs> he's feeling his Cheerios. 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 That's Cheerios. The cereal shaped like little letter O's. And those O's stand for oats. The good grain Cheerios is made from. Every delicious spoonful of Cheerios and milk is real muscle building food. Each spoonful contains vitamins, minerals, and proteins your body needs. Yes, those good things in a Cheerios breakfast do good things for your body. Help you have healthy nerves, good red blood, strong bones and muscles. You can see that Cheerios is made to give you real go power. So make sure you have a Cheerios breakfast every day. Then you'll hear people say... He's feeling his Cheerios. Bonita was a sleepy cattle town on the Santa Fe Trail until the announcement that the expanding railroad was to pass through the community. This news brought a sudden burst of activity. Each day brought newcomers to Bonita. Men came with money to invest, and crooks came to take advantage of boomtown conditions. There was neither law nor order in Bonita. Lone Ranger and Tonto made camp in a woods near Bonita, and Tonto went into town for supplies. He returned with news of recently organized vigilantes. Vigilantes led by Big Bill Thomas. I remember him, Tonto. He's a good man. He's the one who made peace with the Indians who live in La Plata Valley. Oh, uh, did you hear anything about Spike Lorenzo? Uh, him run cafe? Yes. Me not hear about him. He's a friend of every crook in this part of the country. I'm wondering if he'll take action against the vigilantes. Can he go back to town, learn more? No, not today. We have some work to do on our gear. After that, I want to ride to the ridge that overlooks La Plata Valley and see how things are in the Indian village. It was mid-afternoon before the masked man and his Indian friend left their camp. And at just about that same time, Spike Lorenzo met two hard-faced men in his office in the back of the cafe. The cafe owner said, I'll get right to the point. Bill Thomas and his vigilantes are getting troublesome. They're writing letters to lawmen all over the Southwest. They're asking for handbills on men who are wanted by the law. And mm. I don't like that. Are you, Lefty? Nope. Sooner or later, they'll learn that you two are wanted for murder in San Antonio. And they'll learn things about me. We don't want that to happen. Neither do I. So I worked out a plan to make the Indians in the valley massacre the vigilantes. But they're peaceful Indians. They didn't use to be. They've been quiet since Big Bill Thomas made a treaty with them. What do you think they'd do if they were attacked by the vigilantes? Why, they'd fight. Right. They'd outnumber the vigilantes three or four to one. They'd massacre every one of the vigilantes. But how do you figure on getting Thomas and his men to attack the Indians? Well, my plan is involved. Whatever detail is worked out. I have some bows and arrows in this cupboard. Yeah, here they are. Also some Indian clothing. These are unmistakably the type of arrows used by the La Plata Valley Indians. I understood they had rifles. Yeah, they have, but many still use their arrows. 
Here, yeah, take these. Yeah? What are we to do with them, Mr. Lorenzo? You and Brush are to play the part of Indians. What are we supposed to do? Attack the two men who are surveying for the railroad. You mean Brent and Stacy? Yes. <laughs> Lone Ranger and Tonto spent a long time on a ridge that overlooked the Indian village. While remaining out of sight, they used binoculars to study the Indians and were gratified to see that all activities were peaceful and domestic. At sunset, the masked man said, I've seen enough, Tonto. There should be no further trouble from those Indians. There no trouble. Let's white men start it. Well, that's unlikely. Steady, Silver. Now we go back to camp? Yes, Tonto. Easy, steady, easy, scout, easy, fella. Come on, Silver. Get him up, scout. As the Lone Ranger and Tonto started down the slope to return to their camp near town, the railroad surveyors finished their day's work a couple of miles nearer to Bonita. They guided their rented horses along the stage trail without the slightest suspicion that two men, disguised as Indians and armed with short, powerful bows and iron-tipped arrows, were waiting in ambush. Lefty and Brush, both of whom knew how to use the Indian weapons, waited behind the boulder until the railroad men were close. Then they stepped into view. Now. Hey, what's this? <laughs> Got him. The surveyor's riderless horses followed the familiar route to Bonita and the livery stable that they knew as home. Their arrival caused something of a stir. These are the horses I ran into the railroad men. Yeah, but where are the men? I don't know. Their gear tied behind the saddles. You think to tell? Both of them? Hardly. I mean, hey, look. Yeah. Here on the saddle. Great Scott. Is that blood? Still moist. Say, there's Big Bill. Better show that to him. Hey, Bill. Bill Thomas. Yeah. Come here. I got something to show you. Big Bill, the leader of the vigilantes, was quick to grasp the situation when he saw the red stain on the saddle. He turned to a group of men who had gathered. Joe, you take three or four men to ride along the trail, you find the surveyors. Take extra horses in case they're able to ride. Right. What if they hurt too bad to ride? I'll be along as soon as I hit your team to my buckboard. Pete, you find the doctor. All right. Tell him to meet me at my house with his kit. Yep. I'll take him with me. Meanwhile, the Lone Ranger and Toto were riding along the stagecoach trail. As they rounded the bend, they saw the two men lying face up in the twilight. Oh, oh, oh easy, Teddy. Otto, the railroad surveyors we met on our way to the ridge. Isn't that right? See about that man. I'll look after this one. Indeed, man. This man's alive. So this one. But him plenty wounded. These arrows were made by the Indians in the valley. Me know. But them Indian peaceful came as happy. Me think someone else shoot arrows. Footprints may prove that. After we've treated these wounds, we'll look around. Soon after caring for the wounded men, the masked man and his Indian companion found tracks of the outlaws. Now they waited behind this rock and stepped out into the road. Ah. And wear boots with heels. White men. Ah. There, where them leave road. Come on, we'll see where they went. Notice the way these men walk. Ah. Turn toes out. Indian never walk like that. Indian, toe in. Further evidence that white men wounded the surveyors. Why is them use error? Probably so Indians would be blamed. Otto, the footprints lead into that gully. And hoof marks there. That's where the killers left their horses. Maybe we follow tracks, huh? Otto, I'll follow those tracks. You stay here with the wounded men. Here's Silver. Here, boy. Uh, me savvy. Move them off the road. When the stagecoach comes, you can get them into town. Uh-huh. Easy, steady, big fellow. Come on, Silver. The curtain falls on the first act of our Lone Ranger adventure. Before the next exciting scenes, please permit us to pause for just a few moments. Hey there, get a load of this terrific offer. Now you can get a copy of a real, genuine, original Confederate bill free in each specially marked package of Cheerios. There are nine different bills in the whole set ranging from $1 to $1,000. And each bill looks so much like the original Confederate bill, you can hardly tell the difference. 
Say, won't you and your gang have fun with these? As I said, one bill comes free with each special Cheerios package. No waiting, nothing to send in. It's right at your grocer's. If you get a $2 bill in your first package, you may get a $500 bill in the next, and so on. It's easy to collect the whole set of nine different bills. And I bet you'll want to be the first in your neighborhood to have them all. And you'll have something else that's good, too. Cheerios. Seems everybody loves that wonderful toasted oat flavor. And everybody needs the go-power Cheerios gives. Remember now, inside each special Cheerios package, there's a copy of a real, genuine Confederate bill. Start collecting yours today. Now, to continue. Knowing that darkness would soon close in, the Lone Ranger traveled as fast as possible. As he followed the clearly defined tracks, he observed that the killers traveled due north from the stagecoach trail, then rode in a wide semicircle to approach Bonita from the south. It was dark when the Lone Ranger halted in a cottonwood grove, about a hundred yards behind Lorenzo's cafe. Logical place for killers to go. Might be able to learn something. Leaving Silver at ground hitch, the masked man walked softly toward the lighted windows at the back room of the cafe. Suddenly, there was a clatter of hooves, and a number of horsemen drew rein in the street in front of the building. In two strides, the Lone Ranger reached a corner of the building and peered through the two-foot gap between the cafe and the building next door. He could see nothing, but the voices of the men in the street came to him clearly. Yeah, we found the surveyors. Both hit by engine arrows. Big Bill Pringle here on his wagon. He wants a meeting right away. Get some vigilante. Spread the word. As the crowd in front dispersed, the Lone Ranger heard other voices. They came from inside the building, from the back room of the cafe. They became clearer when the masked man moved closer to a window and pressed close to the thin wall. Well, we're all here. Close the door, boys. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Lorenzo. What's the commotion in the street? Could you hear the talk, Lefty? No. Brush and I have been here in the back room ever since we got back from that job. Took off the engine outfits, put them in a the closet. And then then returned after finding the surveyors. Was Big Bill Thomas with him? No, he's following this wagon with Doc and the wounded men. Huh? Wounded? Yeah, they're alive thanks to your blundering. Hey. Also, Bill's bringing a prisoner. An Indian he found near the surveyors. Is he one of the La Plata Valley engines? I don't know. I understand he refused to talk. That doesn't matter. Everyone thinks the Valley Indians attacked the surveyors. Well, that's what you wanted them to think. Yeah. As soon as Big Bill Thomas gets to town, the vigilantes will meet. Then he'll ride to the valley for a powwow with the chief. Meanwhile, we'll sneak out of town and ride to the ridge overlooking the valley. We'll wait there in the dark until the vigilantes start up this side of the hill on their way to talk to the Indians. Yeah, then what? We ride down the other side of the hill. Well, that's where the Indians live. Right. We ride with guns blazing at them. Hey, but those red tents have guns. They'll blaze right back at us. Well, they'll be shooting before we reach the foot of the hill. That's right, boys. So at the foot of the hill, we turn tail and retreat up the hill. But the engines will come after us. Sure they will. But it'll be dark, and they won't be able to see us. We'll fan out and lose ourselves in the underbrush on the hillside. But the Indians will run smack into the vigilantes. They'll think the Indians are attacking them. You know what the result will be. Every one of the vigilantes will be killed. Now look to your guns. From his vantage point near the window, the Lone Ranger heard the plan. Then he heard the clatter of an approaching buckboard and knew that Big Bill Thomas was arriving. Big Bill halted his team behind the doctor's office. The doctor was with him, and so was Tonto, whose hands were tied behind his back. Tonto's horse was tied behind the wagon. All right, engine, sit down. I noticed a lot of horses down the road in front of your house, Bill. Yeah. <coughs> Looks like your vigilantes are there waiting for your meeting. Yeah, I want to get there with this engine as soon as possible. We'll crush them before we start to the valley. Can you manage the injured men if I leave a wagon here? Yes, take your prisoner and go ahead. Good. Engine, you walk ahead of me. And remember, I'm holding a gun on you. Just a minute. What? Steady, Bill. Don't swing that gun toward me. He's masked. You, Kimasabi. Just drop it. Uh, a new crook in town. Here, Chip. I drop my gun. Thanks. You needn't raise your hands, Bill. I'm no crook. 
I'm on your side, and so is Toto. Toto? The man you captured. Toto, turn so your wrists are near my left hand. I have a knife. Bill, you and Doc stand still and listen to me. I have a lot to tell about the attack on the men in your wagon. What do you know about it? I know who shot them and why. Toto and I found them on the trail and dressed their wounds. I left Toto with them. There, your hands are free, Toto. Where's your gun? In wagon. Indians ambushed those men? No, Bill. It was the work of white men. Me try to tell them, but then not listen. Bill, come to think of it, the Indian did try to explain something. Everyone started asking him questions, charging him with the shooting. So he shut up and refused to talk. Hey, mister, have we met before? Yes, Bill. There's something familiar about you. Maybe my voice. It was while you were worried about a peace pact with the Indian. I met you on the trail and made a few minor suggestions. Say, that's it. And you gave me a silver bullet. I'm glad you remember. I still have it. Say, Doc, this is a lone ranger. Yeah, I guess that when you mentioned the silver bullet. You have a lot to tell me? Yes, Bill. We found the tracks of two men. darkness behind the doctor's office, the Lone Ranger told what he knew about the ambush and about Lorenzo's plan. Then Big Bill said, I'll get the vigilantes and we'll arrest Brush and Lefty. I'd like to submit a suggestion for turning the tables on the whole gang. Now, those men will wait in hiding on the ridge. They'll not attack the Indians until they see you and your men right along the trail and start up the western slope. Well, don't let them see you. Stay off the trail and out of sight behind rocks and brushwood until you reach the foot of the slope. Now, wait there. Then what? Meanwhile, Toto and I will enter the valley from the north. We'll open fire to arouse the Indians. Then we'll ride up the hillside with the Indians in pursuit, just as Lorenzo's men plan to do. Well, we're waiting at the bottom of the hill on the opposite side. Yes. Well, how you and Toto escape? We'll take care of ourselves. When the crooks on the ridge see the Redskins coming, they'll have to fight around. They can't fight such odds. They'll try to escape by riding down the hill. You and your men cut them off. Yes. Capture them and hold them. Soon you'll have handbills showing that every one of those men is wanted for a major crime. Meanwhile, they'll be in jail. All right, let's try your plan. A few minutes later, the Lone Ranger and Tonto rode away from town and traveled fast until they entered one end of La Plata Valley. Easy, easy, boy. They slowed their horses and remained screened by underbrush as they rode along the base of the hill that rose on their left. On their right, about a hundred yards away, the Indians were grouped around the council fire in a ceremonial chant. Stop here, Toto. Lorenzo's men should be straight up this hill on the ridge. Ah. You think vigilantes have time to get in place on the other side of the hill? They've had plenty of time. You aim at the fire. The bullets will make sparks fly. I'll kick up dust near the chief. All right, let's go. Ah. During the wild confusion in the village, the Lone Ranger and Toto reloaded their guns. Indians shouted in rage and surprise. Some leaped for weapons and horses. Others peered into the darkness, trying to learn the source of the shooting. Then the masked men and Toto reopened fire. Now then, got horses and guns. Yes, and they've seen the flashes of our guns. They know the shots came from this hill. Let's go. One hill, they up. Lone Ranger and Toto fired intermittently and zigzagged, took advantage of cover as they started up the hill. But halfway to the ridge, they stopped shooting. With no more telltale gun flashes to betray their location, they were able to swing their horses quickly to one side and take cover behind a massive boulder. Hold it, hold it. The Indians on their horses thundered past. <laughs> What the men on the ridge will do. On the ridge, Lorenzo and his men were startled and confused. The dark hillside was studded with flashes of gunfire, and the air was filled with war cries, the sound of exploding powder, and the thunder of horses' hooves. I see them. They're close enough. I see them. They're coming straight at us. How can they know we're here? I don't know. Come and fire from the foot of the hill. That's what started them. Well, they're sure to find us when they get close. I'll show those Why, you fool? Your shots gave us away. Now we're in port. I'm getting out. Oh, my. I'm heading west. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Oh. The 
later that night. Most of the vigilantes were in the home of Big Bill Thomas when the door was opened. The Lone Ranger was framed in the opening. He looked at Big Bill and the men in the room, then spoke. Bill, why didn't you keep your part of the bargain? See that? I'll explain that. You see, I told the boys your plan, the majority ruled against it. But why? Bill said we were to capture those crooks, then explain things to the engine. Yes? You see, the boys figured if we stayed here and didn't ride out, the engines would keep after Lorenzo and his men until they got him. Well, that would take care of the crooks, so we stayed here. Figuring the Indians would massacre the outlaws. Please don't be sore about it. Those crooks deserve killing. They plan to kill us. Did the Redskins kill them all? No. None of them were killed. Those Indians are not savage murderers. They wanted to know why they were fired at. So they captured Lorenzo and his men. They were bandaging the wounded when Toto and I caught up to them. The Indians are holding their prisoners. When you receive handbills showing where those crooks are wanted, call on the chief and he'll surrender them to you. Those Indians copied our way of doing things. Yes. See that you set them a good example from now on. Gosh, boys, I... I feel sort of mean. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. You shouldn't have left Lorenzo's men to be massacred. I, uh... I reckon the Indians have taught us a lesson, boys. Yep, the Indians and the Lone Ranger. Get on your way. Get on your way with Wheaties. True, champions are made, not born. We can all get there if we try. Take champion Doak Walker, flashy halfback for the Detroit Lions. Doak, at the tender age of nine, decided football was his line. He practiced hours day after day and learned what champions have to say. Wheaties for breakfast, you're on your way. Now a touchdown team from top to toe. Walker and Wheaties, they really go. A guy can put away a lot of Wheaties in 18 years, and that's how long Doak Walker's been eating them. Good for you? There's a whole kernel of wheat in every Wheaties flake. Let's go, Doak. Dig for that goal. Hey, hey, hey. He's on his way, on his way. He's on his way, on his way. Get on your way with Wheaties. Because champions are made, not for. Yes, sir. Get on your way. Get on your way. Get on your way with Wheaties. Breakfast of champions. The Lone Ranger, a copyrighted feature of The Lone Ranger Incorporated, is created by George W. Trendle, produced by Trendle Campbell Muir Incorporated, directed by Charles D. Livingston, and edited by Fran Stryker. The part of The Lone Ranger is played by Brace Beamer. Your announcer, Fred Foy. The Lone Ranger is brought to you by General Mills every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at this same time. Be sure to listen.